Hello, in the last episode we made this room, and in this episode we're going to take that room and we're going to make it into a variety of tiles. So let's go down into our prefabs and drag a tile out here for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that this tile uh, is no longer a, an empty tile, but instead contains a, uh, a room. So the key to that is replacing the mesh with the mesh from room. But there is a downside to this. Where are you, mesh? And the downside is that the room is tilted at 90 degrees. As you might remember, the y and the z-axis in Unity are wrong. So we have to go ahead and rotate the tile, like so. Um, this room does not like being transparent, does it? Let's go ahead and make it so it doesn't have to worry about that anymore. We're going to go ahead and create a new material, which we will call ship interior and uh, just drag it on. Oh, that's interesting. Is it upside down? I bet. Yeah, it was upside down. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So now we have a nice looking room. Nice being a very relative term because it's completely untextured. Let's go ahead and rename this to room one and we'll just go ahead and add a marker so that we'll remember so we can distinguish it from room two or three or whatever. So we need to go ahead and create a new... Here it is. Create a new object. We'll make it a capsule and we will scale it way down. We don't need it to be anywhere near that big. Uh, bigger than that. How about... No, that's... There we go. Uh, that's too tall. There we are. And we'll put that inside the room and we will move it so that it is visible. Like so. And then we'll just color it so that uh, we'll be able to tell that it's there. Alright, um, we're also going to go ahead and change our directional light to cast some hard shadows. This is available in free Unity, so go ahead and use it. Uh, but you notice that this doesn't cast any shadows. And the reason is because transparent materials don't cast shadows. So let's go ahead and create another one which we'll call ship, another material which we'll call ship detail. And we will change the color of ship detail to a kind of slate blue like this. Um, and we don't want it to be transparent, but it isn't, so that's fine. There we are. And that way we'll be able to see what's going on. So let's go back into prefabs and let's save room one. And now let's create room two. Room two will have the same capsule, but it will be rotated and in the middle, just so we can tell them apart. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and save room two. So what are we going to do with room... Uh, For some reason, this one changed to be called Room 1. I'm not sure what's going on there. I must have hit Save or something when I didn't expect to. Well, either way, they are, in fact, two distinct rooms. Um, yeah, that's fine. So uh, what we need to do is we need to be able to select those rooms and then add them to the tile. There's a lot of ways to doing Room Select, and I know that in the past I've just done Mouse Wheel to control it. But in this case, we're going to have a lot of different options, and it would be a good idea for us to have a more robust method of handling that. So we're going to go ahead and add a new camera to our to our scene. Uh, camera, camera, camera. Uh, yeah, where are the where are the camera? There it is. So as you might know, uh, it starts you off with an audio listener, even though you can't use it. It causes errors if you try. We also don't want to have it render the skybox. We only want to have it render down to its depth. We're going to want it to be orthographic. We don't need any perspective. Um, and now the key here is that we need to move it somewhere of where it just won't won't be in the way at all. Um, it won't see the ship. And to do that, we're just going to move it way off to the side. Quite easy. So now we have this new camera, which we will call the uh, uh, menu cam. And what we're going to use that for is we're going to be putting our rooms in front of that camera. Uh, you have a really hard time rendering a mesh using a GUI texture or something similar to that, so we're not going to try. We're going to actually put them in the scene and then just have them off on another camera. 
Uh, so to show you that, we're going to go ahead and create a new script, which we will call um, um, tile select. Sure, tile select. Why not? All right, so here in tile select, we're going to need a few things. The first thing we're going to need is a list of all of the tiles that we can select. So let's go ahead and just fill that in. No reason to wait. There we go. Room 1 and Room 2. So we need to be able to add and delete uh, from the scene. The, these are prefabs. They don't. These are these here are prefabs. They don't exist in the scene. They only exist in our library. So that will be where we store all of the ones that we instantiate. I don't think destantiate is a word, but I like it. Let's all destantiate. All right. So when we instantiate them, when we destantiate them, actually for destantiating is actually something a little bit easier here. Um, while instantiated tiles dot count is greater than zero destroy instantiated tiles 0 and instantiated tiles dot remove at 0 and that will just quickly remove them all here we're going to go ahead and say tile t equals uh, tile instantiate uh, tiles a now we need to move this so we need to put it t dot transform dot position equals uh, transform dot position so we're putting it our camera we're on our camera so we need to move it away from the camera and off to one side add it to the list of tiles now I think that we might be rotated in the wrong direction. Uh, we are rotated in the wrong direction. Um, we're only going to see the side of the rooms because we're not pointed down. So let's go ahead and point ourselves down. Or is that backwards? Well, we'll find out shortly. All right, so let's take a look over here and see whether or not we can find our rooms. Oh, wait, we forgot to actually call that function. I was like, why didn't I see anything? Did I screw it up? No, you forgot to call the function you created. Yeah, they are. Um, boy, that is drab looking. We are definitely rotated the wrong direction. Let's go over there and take a look. Uh, so the, they are a little too close together, and we are actually looking at the bottom of the tiles rather than the top. So um, let's rotate it 90, and let's go ahead and uh, uh, separate them out by more than one point, because one point is just uh, a little short. There we go. So you can see that we now have two rooms here in our other camera. Now you might have a hard time telling that this is in the other camera because the two are overlaid directly on top of each other. Um, but if we hit pause and we go over to the scene view, then we can see that the two cameras are different. So here's the camera preview for our menu camera. It's just got the two blocks. And then the camera preview for our main camera, which has the actual ship. So that's all for today, and next time we will actually go ahead and make these uh, uh, show up a little bit more interestingly. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and change it so the rotation is only 75. And the reason for that, oh, 75. And the reason for that is because uh, we want to be able to see the rooms uh, slightly head on. That's a, even that's not quite enough, so 60. 
Uh, we don't want to see them from perfectly above. We won't be able to tell them apart. So there we are. Those are the two rooms, and in the next episode we'll be able to select them. So I hope you see you then. Hope I see you then.